Hi you guys, um, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Uh, as everyone says, go ahead and subscribe, like and comment on this video and if you subscribe, please let me know that you did because I would love to check out your channel and support you as well. I am here because I just got back from my honeymoon so I have been so excited. The Fab Fit Fun Fall Edit Sale box has been waiting here for me. And I have been just dying <laughs> to open this. Um, so anyway, I am going to be unboxing it for you. I am, These are first impressions, but I will be doing reviews of the products that I received um, as I use them down the line. I'm a new FabFitFun Fab Fit Fun subscriber. My first box was the Fall 2018 box. So here it is. Oh, I spent... Three hundred and eleven dollars, and then with tax, it was something like three hundred and fifty. So when I joined Fabfit Fun, I thought, "Oh, what's forty-five dollars a quarter for a fun box?" And I had no idea about these edit sales and the add-ons. So I'm gonna have to uh, figure out how to hold myself back. It was my first edit sale, though, and the winter add-on sale closes tomorrow so I'm hoping being able to inventory this I can pare down my cart and spend under $200 for the add-ons and then get down into the $100 range and just start to wean myself off. I'm hoping that this is just excitement. So the first thing is living proof mask treatment. People seem to be so into this. This is for your hair. Um, the Living Proof stuff was selling out like crazy, and I just kind of jumped on the bandwagon and thought, well, it must be good, <laughs> so I want to try it out. Um, Jennifer Aniston is associated with this company. I think she's a co-owner or something, um, and this is supposed to be uh, really, really good, so I'm excited to try this. I realized I got like three hair masks in this order. Okay, so that's one hair mask, Living Proof. Um... Okay, so this is the Terra Mare. It's a mask, and it's the one, um, I'll read it to you. Rose Hip and Green Tea Nourishing Mask. Um, organic Vegan. So it's Terra Mare, and it's the one that comes with that stone thing that you can either uh, put in the freezer or heat up and rub on your face after you've worn the mask for 15 minutes. Uh, this looked very, very luxurious. It was something like $19, and the original price was about 112 or something. I uh, don't remember offhand, but I will be putting the prices, I will look it up and I will put the prices on the screen as I go through these things. If I can find them, I actually, let me see if they're original prices. I don't, I think I learned my lesson that the retail value, I can't look it up anymore after the sale. I can look up what I paid for each thing, but um, I, I can't, I don't see the retail values listed anywhere. Um, so I'll have to dig for those that information. If I can find it, I will list it. But I will definitely list what I paid. I paid. I do remember I paid $19 for this. This was one of the pricier things that I ordered. And oh, there's a very tiny little spoon that comes with this, I guess, to scoop out the mask onto your face. And then here's the stone thing. And it's Oh, it's already really cold, and it's really pretty. Um, ooh, yeah, that's going to feel really nice. Jeez, you don't even need to put this in the freezer. I guess it is getting to be winter time out, and it was pretty cold last night. I live in um, central California. Um, so this is the little thing that goes with it, <laughs> or the thing of a face mask um, container. Anyway, I'm excited to use that. Uh, what's next? There's so much stuff in here. Ooh, a straightener, a hair straightener. I have a very old hair straightener that I purchased. I think I, I think I spent like forty dollars on it, so it wasn't the cheapest, cheapest that you can get. But I, um, I'm super excited. This is the new me hair straightener. Um, I film on my laptop, so I don't know how well you can see this stuff. 
I, well, I mean, I can see it, but it looks like there's kind of a glare. New Me Hair Straightener. This was $29, originally 120 or something like that. Um, but I will do uh, a video comparing this one to my old one. Um, that'll be fun. Anyway, so that's that. I got, and I, I've been reading on the FabFitFun website, there's a community forum, and if you go on, there's a really active discussion about all these products and what people think of them, and I've been reading really good things about this, um, this hair straightener, uh, and also about the Living Proof stuff. Terra Mare, I'm not seeing a lot of discussion about, but let's see. These are... Uh, exercise bands. I need to. I need to start act exercising. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've, I started as a weight loss channel, and I do still talk about my weight and at this point um, more weight, weight maintenance. Although I just got back from my honeymoon where I ate anything I wanted for two and a half weeks. But anyway, I need to get a workout routine in, and so I'm gonna try these out. I have been on the fence about ordering them. I've had them in my Amazon cart many times, but then I saw them in the FabFitFun sale. For seven dollars, and I thought, well, okay. I, and again, I don't remember what the retail value was. Probably like thirty. And there are three different bands at varying weights, and um, they look kind of small, but uh, and they feel like um, fruit roll-up. <laughs> oh, okay. I hope that these are strong. They th they seem kind of um, uh, flimsy, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, and this is by Magi Sports, Magi Sports, Magi, M-A-J-I, never heard of them, but I just wanted some resistance bands. I need to get a workout routine in at home, which uh, FabFitFun is also good for that too. They have workout videos on their FabFitFun TV part of their website, which you get access to once you become a member. So that's that. Um, okay, so I have never tried... The Bum Bum Cream uh, by Sol de Janeiro, but they had this, and I'm hoping it's just as good as everyone's raving about um, the Bum Bum Cream. I have never smelled it, and I've never tried it, but people just say it's amazing. Um, and so I got actually three of these, and one big one for me, but these are the travel size, and I am going to give this gift this to coworkers, this and a little something else for each um, of my coworkers. And I got that's three of those. And then I got the big one. The big one should be in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, here it is. It came in its own box. So this one I'm actually going to smell, and I am hoping, fingers crossed, that I love it. Uh, oh, don't fight me, please. Anyway, so I just got back from my honeymoon, as I said, and I ate whatever I wanted for two and a half weeks. So I'm going to do a video I haven't weighed in. Um, I'm hoping I didn't gain more than five pounds, but we'll see. And I'm going to do a video about what happened. So this is the full size. This is the full size. This is the little travel guy. The travel one has 75 milliliters, two and a half fluid ounces, so you can fly with that. Um, and then this one is uh, eight ounces, 240 milli milliliters. Don't try to fly with that. Um, oh, it doesn't have a little, unless it got stuck. Oh, yeah, it did get stuck. It does come with a little um, protector thing, but it got stuck and it stayed in there. It smells okay. It's so it's, it's a subtle scent, kind of um, a little bit floral, which is good because that's my husband's favorite kind of scent. A little bit floral. Um, you know, I don't. I, I'll see. I'll see. It smells floral. A subtle, subtle floral smell. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. It's. It says it's a Psy body power cream, but anyway, okay. It smells nice. It smells very nice. Um, I'm not wowed. I, I'm curious to smell the bum bum cream. Um, okay, and then this. I don't know why I bought a mud mask. I wanted to try this Ahava uh, line, something of theirs, and I obviously ordered the, bum, the Sol de Janeiro cream, so I didn't want to get another hand cream because they have a bunch of hand creams. So this is just a mud mask. I already have a mud mask. 
Uh, this is kind of silly. Okay, I think this is going to help me realize I don't need to go so bonkers in these sales. And then here's another hair mask. <laughs> this is the Marula oil hair mask. Um, deep moisture hair mask. I've got two of these because I want to try one and then I'm going to give one to my coworker for one of those bundle gifts that I just showed you guys. Um, this is the Amy Kestenberg um, travel, hanging travel makeup cosmetic bag and I just really want one of these. I don't have one. I have a bunch of makeup bags that, you know, are just bags. This one seemed just much more functional. And yeah, you can hang that on the back of your hotel room door or your guest bedroom, wherever you're staying. And it's got, there's one little pocket too. And this one has sections. I don't know, we'll see. I'm starting to feel like this may not have been worth it either. But um, this will this will be very useful actually. No, uh, this is worth it because this is like three makeup bags in one and I often end up traveling with like three different big makeup bags full of my bath stuff and, and skincare stuff and whatnot. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I definitely am really all about skincare. So th these are two Grown Alchemist products. I got the uh, exfoliator in my fall box and I love it so much. It was originally $67, or not originally, retail value is $67. And I couldn't believe it when I opened my FabFitFun unboxing. I'll post that video up uh, in, in up there. And um, you can see my reaction. I, I was just learning. I didn't realize that such expensive things came in the fall boxes or it just FabFitFun had them available at all. So I love the Grown Alchemist stuff. It's an Australian company, and so clearly they've partnered with FabFitFun to try to market themselves more broadly. But um, so this is the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Moisturizer Phytopeptide and White Tea Extract. So I hope that I like this. Uh, this isn't working well. I, I, I haven't invested in fancy camera stuff, but um, it's got the really simple packaging and I am super excited to try this. I hope that I love it as much as the exfoliator. And then on the Grown Alchemist kick, kick uh, they had a gel mask available. I believe that's what this is. And I... Um, <laughs> Like I said, loved the exfoliator and I felt the need to get myself another mask. So, so far I have a mud mask, this gel mask from Golden Alchemist, and this Terra Mara mask. My husband, I can't show him this stuff. We just got married. We haven't joined finances yet. It's okay. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I, I, like I said, I will be trying these things and doing actual review videos because I haven't seen a lot of review videos. I've seen tons of unboxing videos, but I haven't seen a lot of review videos on Fabulous Fun stuff. There's more. Okay, and then Terra Mer, I got the eye cream. I, um, pomegranate and evening primrose eye cream. I don't know why I got this. I should have just tried one of the <laughs> Terra Mer products because I got the pharmacy eye cream in the fall box. That one's okay. I've been using it. I... Honestly, I, if you know much about um, eye cream, let me know why we need a separate cream for our eyes than the one that goes on our face. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I feel like the one that goes on our face should be good enough for our eye area, but I'm 36 and I feel like I need to really amp up my game on um, skincare and hair care and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, it's I, I mean, their stuff, it, the, their stuff's expensive. And it comes um, with uh, giant discounts, so that also attracted me, as it did some of you watching, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so that's the eye cream. Oh, I did order a Karen G product. Okay, so in the add-ons for winter right now, I'm considering getting the Karen G cleanser, and just because I would like to try a Karen G product, but I did get a... Karen G Retinol Renewing Serum, and I think that's what this is, Karen G Retinol Renewing Serum, and I, um, I need a serum, my serum's running out, I just had the Oil of Olay one that you can get at Costco, um, 
So I decided to get this. I have dry skin though, and I don't know anything about retinol, and I'm starting to catch on that maybe retinol is for people who have more more problem skin, more blemishes, more breakouts, more dark spots. Let me know in the comments below what retinol is for. I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out, but that's kind of what I'm starting to catch on to, so this might be too harsh for my skin. Um, I don't want to get any kind of abrasion. Um, okay, so what's this? Oh, this is the Briogeo, a third, third hair mask, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask, and I'm bummed because I have been reading some comments on the community thread that um, this didn't do anything for people's hair. So I will use it and I will, like I said, do a review on all of these products <laughs> that I'm putting before me. Um, okay, so there's more. I got... Um, I thought that these looked nice and subtle. They're the Noto Multi Stain Stick. Uh, and I got one in each color because I liked... Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is empty. This box does not have a product in it. <laughs> I'll have to contact Fud about that. Um, I do not see it in here. It was, it was closed. It was closed. So this one has something in it. Ha! That's too bad. Okay. So I got, I got but one in each color. So let's take a look at this one. I liked how subtle they looked. Um, I will probably, I know that I will only use it on my lips. This is so teeny tiny. It looked bigger. But anyway, so that's it. No toe. And you can use it on your lips, cheeks, and eyes. Um, how does this... Ah. Yeah, it, I liked how subtle it looks. You can't... Oh, you can kind of see it when I hold my hand like that. But um, it's it's a lip stain, so it's not... It, yeah, it's lip stain. It just goes on kind of um, sheer. I... Okay, so, and I did actually find some reviews on this yeah so it goes on sheer and I did actually find some reviews on this online and um, it looked nice it looked nice on people when they put it on I have to make sure to put this empty one aside and remember to call them about that okay I have a few more things so I got another serum two serums three face masks <laughs> and three hair hair masks yeah because I have three faces. No, I'm kidding. That was weird. Um, anyway, uh, so I need my scissors for this. This one is the Super Mood Ego Boost One Minute Face Lift Serum. Ooh, it looks so fancy. Wow, it looks so fancy. Oh my goodness. It has a medicine, medicine -y smell to it, which isn't terrible. I have this uh, vitamin C serum that smells awful. Um, okay, well, that'll, uh, that's another serum. So two serums. Two serums. I wonder if the plural for serum is Sera. Never mind. Um, yeah, that looks really pretty. <laughs> okay. And I... I mentioned I'm turning 30, I, I am 36, I will be turning 37 later, um, but I'm getting turkey neck. You see that? And that really bothers me. Which, granted, I have to, like, do something to actually show you, but yeah. There. See? Look at that. Um, anyway, so I got this Dermalect self-esteem neck firming lift, which I haven't seen anyone really say much about Dermalect either. All I could find was really them promoting their products, but I think it was something like $12. Uh, so I went ahead and sprung for it to give it a try because I really do want to do something about this. I do put 100% pure argan oil and my moisturizer on my neck um, every morning and at night. I only do the argan oil once a day, but... Um, I think I need to step it up a little bit, and I also am going to get in the winter add-ons the Skin Owl Neck 
thing. That has really, really good reviews. I did find a lot of reviews about that online. I'm going to get one for me and one for my sister. My sister's 41, and she has always had this problem with her neck as well. And the second to last thing, I got the Isaac Mizrahi poncho. And this I got because I... Um, my husband, I think that it could be a good present for him to give to his mother. Um, so I want to open it and feel it. If, if he doesn't like it for her, I'm happy to keep it. Um, it feels nice. It feels like a blanket. Um, I think it was uh, made of a acrylic and polyester or something like that. Um, it just looks like a big blanket. Okay, and then it's got the hole for your, oh no, wait, oh, that's the arm slot. Well, I don't know, I see. It goes around you like this. I can see me in my office working and just wrapped up in this, getting away with basically wearing a blanket. Um, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten this yet. <laughs> um, I'm mostly excited to um, treat myself to better uh, skincare and hair care products because I have for so long just been using drugstore things and stuff that's on sale at Costco that I just I just want to treat myself a little bit. Now this is the Kate Spade um, notebook. I thought that this would be good for work as well. I I'm in a job where, you know, it stinks. Women, it's, we got to play a game, and I'm worried that this is a little too girly, therefore um, might make it harder for me to get taken seriously. Uh, it's harder to get taken seriously as a woman. I'm very strategic in my career, um, especially a uh, younger-looking woman, <laughs> That's <laughs> which I'm trying to make last as long as possible. Anyway, so um, this is it. It's, it's very nice. It's very nice. I just don't know if the gold polka dots are a little too girly um, and if that could be a, a, a detriment to me. Um, and then that's it. That is it. I am so excited. Uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you got and how you liked it. And um, have a great day.